SwiftUI lets us disable interactivity for a view. By setting allows hit testing to false. So in our project, we can use that to disable swiping on any card when the time runs out by checking the value of time remaining. So we're gonna start by adding a new modifier to the innermost Z stack. This one here, then our cards. We'll say this thing here allows hit testing only when time remaining is greater than zero. So we're enabling hit testing when time remaining is one or greater, but making it false otherwise because the user is out of time. Now the other outcome here is that the user flies through all the cards correctly and ends up with no, no cards left at all, none left. And when the final card goes away, right now our time is gonna slide down to the center of the screen and it'll carry on ticking. What we want to happen is the time to stop so users can see how fast they were and also to show a button allow them to reset their cards and try again. This takes a little thinking because just making is active false isn't enough. If that moves to the background and comes back to the foreground, is active will be re-enabled even though there are no cards left. So let's tackle it piece by piece. First, we need a method to reset the app so the user can try again. So we'll go ahead and content view a new method down here called reset cards. This will go ahead and just blank our cards again. So we'll say our cards is uh, an array of card repeating the example card 10 times. We'll make time raining back to 100 again. So it's default time like that. And is active is true. So restart the timer counting down. Second, we have a button to trigger this method is wrote, shown only when all cards have been removed. And so, inside our layout, here's our card uh, Z stack here. And so, just after that, we're going to add a new check. If our cards array is currently empty, I have a button saying start again with the action of calling reset cards. This thing will have a little bit of padding, a little bit of background behind it, and a foreground style of black, and then a clip shape of capsule. But only when the card array is empty. And now we have code to reset the timer when resetting the cards. But now we need to stop the timer when the final card is removed and make sure it stays stopped when coming back to the foreground. Now we can solve the first problem by adding a new line of code to the end of remove card at. So down here, removing cards. And we want to say simply, if the array is empty, is active is false. So we'll say here, if the cards array is empty, then is active is false. As for the second problem, which is making sure is active stays false, we're returning from the background, we want to just update our scene phase code. So explicitly checks for cards in the array. So we'll go up and find this on page modifier here. And if we are becoming active right now, first check, is our cards array empty? If that is false, fine. We're back to counting down again and again and again. But the cards array is empty, don't then become active. With that, we should be done. Let's find out. So let's go ahead and uh, swipe our cards away. Off you go, cards. So many cards, there we go. Boom, bidi, boom, bidi, boom, all gone. There, start again. Time is paused at 94. I'll go to the home screen. Back there. Back to the app again. It does not restart correctly. I'll press start again. And boom, time counts down. All our cards are back in place. 